Yeah, pause the YouTube. Six foot hacks here. Have for you guys today a pretty fun, good are you battle head against my buddy Quinn. Of course, if you guys would like to battle me, my Discord is down below. Although, when this goes up, I'm gonna be gone from Sunday to like Wednesday or Thursday. So, just a little heads up if I don't speak for those days in the chat. But I'll be back uh, by the end of next week. So, hopefully, we can battle. But yeah, this match was against my boy Quinn. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to hammer arm that like button down below, guys. Thank you for the support. On the return videos as of the past couple days because you guys know I took about a week and a half break or so now in are you there's a lot of crazy things in are you man I'm using this really cool team I got off of the forum so obviously going into the match Heracross is gonna be kind of a problem I don't have a safe switch in the Gudra and Lorantis funny enough late game could maybe sweep me depending on how things go so I gotta watch out for that but I let off with my Zoroark disguised as my Deontay as he let off with the Heracross not wanting to risk him going straight for a close combat I switched directly to my Gligar as he actually switches into his Registeel and expecting him to just want to go for a Stealth Rocks here or maybe switch on out into something I'm just gonna go straight for the Earthquake because I hit everything on his team for at least neutral damage with Acrobatics and Earthquake Actually, no, um, I hit Lorantis for super effective damage with Acrobatics, and it's resisted by Earthquake, but I have Acrobatics, so even if he switches in, it shouldn't have been too big of an issue there, as he's going to switch out this turn, and I do expect him to do that, so I'm going to go for the Defog, as he brings in the Heracross, but little does he know, this Heracross is l just about to die to my Gligar, especially because he was able to knock off my acro, uh, my item to boost my Acrobatics, so that Heracross was hit with a four times stabbed super effective move four times super effective stab move so down it goes that's really good this means i can be a little bit more lenient with my gligar maybe sack it off to the gudra later in the match as he brings in the lorantis very positive that he's just gonna go for the leaf storm here so i'm gonna make the safe switch into my salazzle expecting that if he had the hp ground it would have been an excellent play for him to go for it there but i don't really know what lorantis carries so i wasn't more or less fearing that as i'm going to go ahead and i think go for the sludge wave this turn i thought about going for the nasty plot because it was really no reason for him to stay in the only reason i didn't want a nasty plot was because i don't know if at plus two uh if a z move knocks out av grudra or oko's porygon 2 at full hp so i thought sludge waving there to chip down the gudra or chip down the porygon 2 was my better play as i do get really lucky and i get the 10 percent poison now in the long run of the match i don't know if that's entirely game changing because i do have knockoff on my zoroark and i could have potentially toxic this with something else on my team so it is really nice though that I'm gonna be able to start wearing this down, but I could have just knocked it off and maybe toxic it later. As he's gonna switch out here, I do unfortunately get fully paralyzed, but I just went for the Stealth Rocks, which I probably am gonna have to defog in the next like two turns or so because he can definitely go for Stealth Rocks here with his Registeel because there's really no reason for him to not do it unless he predicts me to switch out or he just wants to take on my Deontay, which I do expect them to either go for Rocks or go for the Iron Head here. Even switching out wouldn't have been a bad play, maybe expecting me to switch into my Gligar, but all of that is covered by Kamo because I am choice specs. Kamo, ladies and gentlemen, Registeel just dies. I know for a fact how bulky Registeel can really be. And the fact that he just died to that Focus Blast is absolutely insane, man. Kamo is so much fun in RU. As in comes a Gudra. I know that a Specs Focus Blast isn't gonna knock out Gudra, but I don't have a safe switch into this monster, and I just really want to get off chip damage so my Salazzle can knock it out after a nasty plot. Unfortunately though, I missed my second and third focus blast as he's going to be able to easily to kill me with the Ice Beam, expecting me to switch into my Gligar, which I know I said I could have sacked that off, but I still may have some use for it later in this match. Either way, I wanted to get off chip damage on Gudra, but I missed, and I guess it kind of makes up for me poisoning him because it was a 10% chance. Either way though, I can bring in my Zorak here, go straight for the knockoff, get rid of anything's item that he wants to switch in. If it's gonna be the AV on Gudra, that's excellent. If he's gonna sack off Porygon 2, that's also excellent. If he switches into Lorantis, that's nice chip damage. So now I'm gonna switch back into my Salazzle. I see he actually makes a really nice double switch here, calling that play, and he switches into his Porygon 2. And this is where him being poisoned puts me in a very, very good scenario because he's either gonna wanna go for the recovery here or expect me to try and set up and thunder wave me so what i'm gonna do is go for my z move which the which is the acidic downpour 
and I was very positive that at like 49% HP, I was going to be able to just utterly annihilate this Porygon too. If not, then I put him in range of where Toxic knocks him out if he doesn't go for the recover. So, this is where if I maybe Nasty plotted earlier in the match, it would have come in handy. But Porygon 2 is able to just barely live on a sliver of HP, man. This is where those Stealth Rocks just really would have come in handy because I would have put down Porygon 2 there. But it's fine though, as he goes for the recover, he can definitely go for it again, or he can try and go for the Thunder Wave. And I do end up Nasty plotting here, which was a little bit risky because he could have definitely called me trying to set up on him, predicting his recover, and gone for the Thunder Wave or Discharge. No, he has the way, yeah. Um, either way though, I'm a plus two. I have the Fire Blast. This thing is toxic, so I'm very positive this Fire Blast is gonna be enough to knock out Porygon 2 after the poison, but that does literally nothing. Like, that's a plus two Fire Blast, and it just barely lives. As luckily, my Salazzle also barely lives on 8 HP, and at this point, he's gotta pick a Death Fodder. And this is where, if he wasn't poisoned, I probably still would have been able to knock him out with the plus two Fire Blast. So, again, I don't know if that 10% poison on Porygon 2 was entirely game changing, but it was a little easier for me to take down the Porygon 2 than it otherwise would have been. As in comes the Gudra. All I need to do is just get off chip damage on this. I really don't care if he's going to knock me out. That crit is kind of nice because I did not miss two Focus Blasts, but at the same time, I really didn't need it. Like, just a non-crit plus two Sludge Wave still would have been enough damage, I think, to put him in range of where Zorark probably would have been able to uh, revenge kill him with a knockoff. Either way, I'm life forward, max attack, I just click knockoff and I KO something. As down goes a Gudra, if he had lived, he might have been able to revenge kill me. Uh, maybe depending on rolls, I don't really know considering that... I don't know, maybe he would have been able to revenge kill me. Either way though, it is fine because at this point, Zoroark looks like he can definitely win me the battle as I go straight for the low kick and it just dies. Down goes the Aggron. Uh, he told me that he was supposed to have Sturdy, but I have Sucker Punch on the Zoroark, so I don't really think that him not having Sturdy is entirely game changing. As in comes the Lorantis, and he predicts my Sucker Punch here very nicely and is going to go for the Synthesis. Funny enough, uh, this Lorantis could maybe still win him the battle if he's able to take down my Zoroark, because my Deontay is paralyzed, and my Sharpedo cannot knock this out at any one hit, and Gligar, outside of acrobatics, can't really do anything to Lorantis. So there was a good chance that this Lorantis could have probably still won the game at this point if I misplayed around it, which is kind of crazy because Lorantis fucking sucks, but Hey, it's just, it depends how you use the mon, I guess. So I go for the knockoff there, and I am doing a little bit over 50%. This is actually really nice because if I can put him low enough, I can maybe put him in range of where an acrobatics from my Gligar is going to knock him out, or a life orb crunch from my Sharpedo is going to knock him out. So I go for the knockoff again, just expecting him to go for the synthesis, but he actually said that he predicted me to switch out. Uh, not wanting to lose my Zorark, but at this point I didn't really need Zorark. I definitely felt like plus two knocking off. Plus two knockoff at that point, which is by far my better play. Either way though, after him not synthesizing here, I will be able to bring in my Sharpedo, outspeed him, and knock him out with the crunch. So that is going to be, uh, I think, the 2 0 victory in my favor. So good game to my boy Quinn. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the fun close battle. If you did, make sure to hammer arm that like button down below, guys. Let me know what you guys have been thinking of the RU tier since we got out of Alpha and Beta and now we are officially in RU. Uh, I think I mentioned this earlier in the match, but there's so many crazy things in RU, man, that I definitely want to try when I come back. So yeah, with all that being said, guys, I am rambling, so we'll see y'all tomorrow. Later, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Cause my brain and heart are both tied in the knot And this hinders me from flying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken For now, I'm living with no more pain Tears of hoping, I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real